United Colony System Defense at your service. All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their SEALs over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? We're about to pull the trigger on the largest scale operation in UC SysDev history. All of our ships, personnel and resources have been waiting for your report. Lives are potentially hanging in the balance. So you'll have to forgive me for being so impatient when I ask where the hell you've been. You mean your latest excursion to Neon? I've received the reports about your little foray into Genodyne. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter in the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sysdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. I've always known that when it came down to it, you'd do the right thing. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, 
the credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mask, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at Mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons, all on account of your role in the operation. To put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. I'm not advocating violence. I'm merely urging you to weigh the consequences before you open fire. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. Stay focused and be careful out there. say about Petrosian keeps us Well, look who it is. Come down here to gloat? Well, that's a shame. You should take more pride in your job. After all, you have to make sure that the notorious Crimson Fleet Captain from Neon gets roasted alive by a UC adjudication committee, right? Hey, maybe you should sell tickets to the little zoo you've created on this ship, then everyone can point and stare. Excuse me? I'm being ridiculous? Back on Neon? You pretended to give a shit about me. You could have ratted me out to bay you, but you didn't. Then, without warning, you yanked the rug right out from underneath me. You've been stringing me along like this is some kind of sick game. People don't do that to each other. Well, you thought wrong. <sighs> Let's just cut to the chase, all right? If you want to come down here and ask me stupid questions, I can't... But that doesn't mean we have to be friends. And that damn well doesn't mean I have to... What? You're not gonna sting? Well, that's a shame. After all, you... hey, me. Oh, drop the act, will you? Back on Neon? You pretended to give a shit about me. You could have ratted me out to bay you, but you didn't. Then, 
Without warning, you yanked the rug right out from underneath me. You've been stringing me along like this is some kind of sick game. People don't do that to each other. Yeah? Well, it's too late for that. <sighs> Let's just cut to the chase, all right? If you want to come down here and ask me stupid questions, I can't stop you. But that doesn't mean we have to be friends, and that damn well doesn't mean I have to like it. Oh, I bet you'd love to know. I got a good chunk of Genardine's database before Bayou's goons ripped it out of the system. As far as what happened to it, there's no way I'm gonna tell you, or anyone else that's sis staff. Maybe I'll keep that little nest egg for the bargaining table at my sentencing. Maybe not. Hope oh, that drives you crazy. Yeah, sure. Why not? Not like I'm needed anywhere else right now. I was drinking in Euphorica, and Micah warned me that UC security was scouring the city asking about me. I knew sneaking to my ship would be impossible, so I did the best I could to find somewhere to hide. Unfortunately, wasn't good enough. Sistef caught me in a sleep crate and dragged me to the vigilance. Are you out of your mind? I make my own choices, thank you very much. I don't need to be rescued by you or anyone else. Let's face it, the only favors you've done are for yourself. We're done? Good. Finally, I've been waiting to speak to you. From our last encounter on Neon, I could tell you fancied yourself as a bit of a businesswoman, right? Well, I don't want to waste any time with small talk. Let's make a deal so I can get out of here. As you can see, I'm not in the position to discuss specifics. We can hammer out the terms once you get me out of here. Now hold on just a moment. You shouldn't make snap decisions until you know the bottom line. I find myself in this... unfortunate situation. Thanks to a terrible misunderstanding. That little conversation on your evidence recording, the one where I'm speaking to Estelle Vincent about funneling electrical components, that was part of a sting operation to discover how the Crimson Fleet had been siphoning goods from Jennerdine's warehouses. Much like you've been working undercover, I've been doing the same. Ironically, we've been investigating the fleet from opposite sides at the same time. Well, I was trying to keep a low profile. I didn't want to tip off Estelle, so my operation was deep undercover. Very deep. So much so that there's no other personnel at Jennerdine, nor a paper trail that can corroborate what I'm saying. Being in a similar situation, I'm sure you understand the value of keeping the operation quiet. Nor would I, if you were in my position. So here's what I'm proposing. You spring me from the cell. Sneak me off the vigilance, and then take me to New Atlantis. In return, I'll give you my access card to a safety deposit box filled with millions of credits. Consider it compensation for trusting me. Listen, I'm stuck in this situation with no means to prove my innocence, thanks to you. The evidence on that recording means that UC will convict me, and I'll be sent to prison for a long time. I have no other choice but to run until I can find a way out of this mess. Nothing's going to stop you from being Sis Def's guardian angel? Is that it? You stupid idiot. Look, I have friends in high places. I might be down for the count right now, but I'll be getting out of here one way or another. 
And when I do, I'm going to dedicate my entire life to making yours miserable. How's that for a deal? Now get the hell away from me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Initiated. 
All right, the system should be all set up. Just shout out when you want the computer to record. Should work for everyone. Okay, fine. Now, give me the bad news. The bad news is that our engines and grav drive are destroyed and we're drifting toward Bannock 4. Wait, doesn't that put a smack into Bannock EM field? We hit that every circuit on this ship will overload! Easy, Simmons. What's this be about it? Huh? She's right. We end up in that electromagnetic radiation and we're dead. Hey, there's no need to talk like that. It's Simmons' first time out. Can't you see she's scared? Yeah, Bakara, pipe down. You aren't helping. Everyone stop. Right now, we all need to take a breath. We're in bad shape, but I need everyone alert and level-headed so we can figure a way out of this mess. Osterholt, you're my engineer. Give me options. We don't have any options. Kellner and I need to work on a shielding solution. Fixing the propulsion isn't even on the table. Fine. You two get on it. Simmons and Bakara, I want you to walk the ship and give me a full damage report. Mayfield, see if you can help Aguilar with that arm injury. Let's move out, people. Crew recording terminated.